Hi everyone, welcome to our top 10 places in the Lake District. In this video, we share some stunning views, amazing history and interesting facts. If you like our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, comment and give us a share too. So off we go and show you our top 10 places in the Lake District. Number 1 Windermere At 11 miles long and almost 1 mile wide, Windermere is the largest natural lake in England. There are many attractions at Windermere, the most popular being water pastimes. Passenger services operate along the lake with over 1 million people using them each year. There is also a ferry service and it's home to other pastimes such as sailing and kayaking. There are many shops to browse around in the town as well as some fine places to eat and drink. Windermere is a great place to relax and a must visit whilst touring the Lake District. Number 2 Grasmere Situated in the centre of the Lake District, Grasmere is a very popular tourist destination. Many visit because of the connection to poet William Wordsworth who lived in Dove Cottage for 14 years and has a museum in his honour. Grasmere is abound with wonderful gift shops, tea rooms, restaurants and hotels. It is also famous for its Grasmere gingerbread shop. The shop has had famous visitors too. Actors Tom Cruise and Renny Zellweger have also visited here. Nestled amongst some of the Lake District's most beautiful scenery, there is no wonder Wordsworth called it the loveliest spot that man hath ever found. Number 3 Castle Rigg Stone Circle Castle Rigg Stone Circle stands atop a low hill to the east of Keswick. It is one of the largest of the stone circles in the British Isles. Measuring 107 feet at its widest and 97 feet at its narrowest, the circle was probably constructed around 3200 BC, making it one of the earliest stone circles in Britain and possibly in Europe. Now under the care of English heritage, Castlerigg is full of mystery and surrounded by fells and mountains in all directions, making it a popular attraction for visitors to the Lake District. Number 4 Honister Slate Mine at almost 1,000 feet of Honister Pass, open cask quarrying has been carried out at Honister since the late 17th century. The quarry closed in 1989 and reopened in 1997 when it was turned into a tourist attraction. Attractions around the mine complex include a visitor centre, underground tours of the workings and England's first Via Ferrata, where participants use a safety harness to scale a cliff path. This attraction proved to be very popular and in 2011 was awarded winner of best tourism experience in the Lake District by Cumbria Tourism. Using the original miners track up the steep outer incline of Fleetwith Pike, the Via Ferrata is both physically and mentally challenging. Honister is a great attraction with stunning views of the Lakeland Mountains. Number 5 Wastwater Wastwater is a lake located in Wastdale in the western part of the Lake District. At 258 feet it is the deepest lake in England. The head of the Wastdale Valley is surrounded by some of the highest mountains in England including the highest Scarfell Pike at 3208 feet. St Olaf's Church which can be found at Wastdale Head is said to be England's smallest parish church seating 39 people. Wastwater was voted Britain's best view in a poll in 2007 and it's easy to see why. A visit to this stunning part of the Lake District is highly recommended. Number 6 Buttermere Buttermere is a lake situated in the Western Lake District. At 1.25 miles long and 0.25 miles wide it provides stunning scenery. Next to Lake Buttermere is Crummock Water. It is flanked by stunning fells such as High Style, Robinson, Fleetwith Pike, Haystacks and Grassmoor. The village of Buttermere, although small, 
has an inn and shops as well as the lovely church of St James. Buttermere is a place of incredible beauty and tranquillity. Number 7 Ullswater Ullswater is the second largest lake in the Lake District at about 9 miles long and 0.7 miles wide with a maximum depth of around 197 feet. A number of villages are situated along Ullswater including Glen Ridding at the southern end of the lake and Pooley Bridge at the northern end. The lake is notable for its popularity of sailing and tourist trips on the Ullswater steamers. Donald Campbell set the world water speed record on Ullswater on the 23rd of July 1955 when he piloted the jet propelled hydroplane Bluebird K7 to a speed of 202.32 miles an hour. For those that love walking, there's a 20 mile walk that takes you around the whole of the lake. All in all, Ullswater is a very beautiful place to come and spend some time. Number 8 Ambleside Ambleside is a small but popular bustling town in the central Lake District. It has lots of character and there is a large choice of shops, hotels, bars and restaurants. Bridge House was built over Stock Gill more than 300 years ago, probably as a summer house and apple store for Ambleside Hall. Stockhill Waterfall is a 70 foot high cascade of water situated behind the Salutation Hotel in Ambleside. Situated between Windermere and Grasmere, Ambleside is the perfect base for touring the Lake District. Number 9 Kirkstone Pass Kirkstone Pass is a mountain pass which sits at an altitude of 1,489 feet. The name of the pass comes from a prominent stone, the Kirk Stone, which stands a few yards from the A592. The Kirk Stone Pass Inn stands close to the summit. Once a vital coaching inn going back 500 years, it now caters primarily for tourists. It is the third highest public house in England and the highest in Cumbria. Winters are notoriously harsh and driving is often hazardous on the pass. Kirkstone Pass is a great place to sample some amazing views down the valley to Windermere in the distance. Number 10 Moncaster Castle Moncaster Castle is a privately owned castle overlooking the River Esk, about a mile east of the west coastal town of Ravenglass. Owned by the Pennington family for 800 years, it is a popular tourist attraction with an audio guided tour of the castle and a hawk and owl centre. Naturally with this amount of history you would expect dark tales and ghostly goings on. Like many of England's castles and stately homes, Moncaster is supposedly haunted by more than its fair share of ghosts, among them that of an infamous and murderous court jester named Thomas Skelton. According to legend, Skelton had a habit of sitting beneath a chestnut tree which still stands today. He would chat with and offer directions to travellers and passers-by on the road that ran by the castle. Anyone he took a dislike to, however, would not be helped on their way, but instead be intentionally directed toward a perilous and all but undetectable patch of quicksand by the nearby cliffs, from which there was little chance of any escape. An eerie portrait of him in his full jester's costume and holding a copy of his own last will and testament, in which he apparently predicts his own death, hangs in Muncaster Castle. Muncaster Castle is a fantastic place to visit, but one word of a warning, be careful of Thomas Skelton. Thanks for watching our top 10 places in the Lake District. If you do enjoy our channel and like what we do, please subscribe and give us a like and a share and do leave a comment down below and let us know what you think. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you again soon.